Welcome back, this is Dr. Simon Cerejido again. Lecture 1.1.C, uh, Components of Language. Lois Bloom and Margaret Leahy in 1978 developed a language model composed of three areas, form, content, and use. Linguistic communication demands a person to master the, f the form of a language of a message, the content of the message, and the message use or function. Form consists of the following language domains, starting from below, phonology, morphology, and syntax. Content consists of semantics and use of pragmatics. Phonology is the sound system of a language and the rules that govern the sound combinations. The smallest unit of phonology is the phoneme. Phonemes are any of the perceptually distinct units of sound in a specified language that distinguish one word from another, for example, p, b, d, and t, in the English words bat, pat, bat, or bad. Remember that not all languages allow for the same sound combinations. For example, certain languages do not allow consonant clusters such as c, 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 v, c, combinations, as in the word stream. CV syllables, in contrast, are universal. Morphology. It is a system that governs the structure of words and the construction of word forms. A morpheme is the smallest grammatical unit in a language. In other words, it is the smallest meaningful unit of a language. How many morphemes does the word ball have? Of course, one. How many morphemes in balls? Two. The free morpheme, ball, and the bound morpheme, plural, s. So we have free and bound morphemes. Syntax. Syntax is a system governing the order and combination of words to form phrases and sentences and the relationships among the elements within a sentence. The sequence of words in a sentence is governed by syntax, that is, by grammatical rules. Syntax also rules how to change a declarative sentence into a negative sentence or into a question. So here we have a declarative sentence and here we have a question. We also have grammatical rules for changing an active voice sentence, such as this one, into a passive voice sentence. Thus, language form refers to the language domains that govern the shape and structure of language, the organization, placement, and relationship between language parts. I want to add a terminology clarification. When we talk about phrases and clauses, we frequently talk about grammar. In these cases, we usually refer to both morphology and syntax rules, also called morphosyntax. So please remember that we may talk about grammatical rules or morphosyntactic rules interchangeably. Content. The language domain that belongs to content is semantics. This branch of linguistics is concerned with meaning. The lexicon, our mental dictionary, is part of semantics. Lexicon is a synonym of vocabulary. Contributions to semantics have come essentially from two sources, linguistics and philosophy. This is why semantics also encompasses knowledge of concepts and relationships. As children grow up, their semantic understanding increases. They learn synonyms, antonyms, sayings. They also understand the difference between literal and non-literal meanings. 
Use is the last language area in this model. The linguistic domain in this case is pragmatics. Pragmatics is a system that combines form and content in functionally and socially appropriate communication. This domain is concerned with the functions of communication, the way we communicate, and the rules of conversation and discourse. Discourse refers to the connected flow of language between two or more individuals. This includes dialogues, such as conversations, and monologues, such as narratives and explanations. Language is truly amazing. It, it is truly an amazing system of communication for human beings. I wonder how it all stand, started. Okay, probably not like this, but language is still a wonder. Please bring questions to class. Uh, and this is the end of our presentations. Uh, write them down, write your questions down, and we'll discuss them in person next time. Thanks so much.